Country 107.3 WRWD t-shirt, Thomas Red, number one song last week. Where, where will it wind up this week? We'll find out. We are live at the Taste of Country Music Festival, day number two. Marty Marty, the weather seems to be clearing up a little bit because it has to rain if it's a taste of the country, so we get it out of the way now, and then William Michael Morgan can take the stage a little bit, and he's with me right now. Uh, how are you doing, bud? Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank you. you. What is it, Afternoon now? Yeah, it yeah, is. It's afternoon. Good okay. afternoon, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, well, first of all, it's a long way from Mississippi. It sure is. A long way from Nashville, too. <laughs> yeah, man, I grew up in Mississippi. I'm, uh, I actually moved to Nashville about, uh, I guess, going on about four years now when I signed with Warner Brothers. And, uh, Started writing a whole bunch and getting this album going or EP going at the moment. And uh, looking forward to releasing an album uh, sometime at the end of the year. So, so you go back to uh, before you, you had your first hit, thinking about working here. You worked as a cashier. I worked as a lot of things. And wasn't it the, what was it, uh, the Piggly Wiggly? It was the Piggly Wiggly, so it was. I used to sack a bunch of groceries, unload a bunch of trucks, and say thank you, have again. So have you been back to those places since you I had it? Actually, yes. Uh, the Piggly Wiggly that I used to work at. It's actually just right around the corner from my hometown uh, house, from my mom and dad lives there. So whenever I go home, I still go by there. And my mom will say, hey, go pick me up some thing, whatever, butter, whatever. I go and see everybody. You know, it's always good to get back to the Did you ever dream, though, when you were working here, say, you know, one day I'm going to come back here? You know, we're still working on the star part, but you're on your way. <laughs> we're on you're there. Way. I mean, your first, your first big guy out of the box. I mean, you had some very impressive people. Scott Hendricks. Oh, for sure. You know, I, the, the people that I'm working with as far as management, as far as the, the whole labor side, and they it's, just, history, it's unbelievable, you know, to, to be a part of these, these groups. Scott Hendricks, Jimmy Ritchie, uh, uh, the management, I mean, the top of the bottom is just people that, that get it, you know, get us and are trying to change us and are trying to take this hat off of us, you know, and, and that's what I love about Warner Brothers. They're so, they let the artists within reason. Be creative, and they let them do their thing, and, and you know, make artists out of them, make brands out of them, instead of just trying to chase that number one song. And not only do you have a big hit, but you have a big hit that was co-written by a guy who's written so many hits, including yes. Kenny Chesney, yes, Shane McAnally, sure. and some guy named Sam Hunt. A guy named Sam Hunt. Yeah, he's going to be big someday. It's nice <laughs> you to help him out too. No, for sure. Anything we can do. No, oh, hell, I love Sam. He's such a great writer. I actually would love to write, but I've never wrote one. I'd love to write one sometime. And uh, actually, Trevor Rosen is. Uh, right. Uh, is is in on that song. He's motivated. He's gonna be playing here right after us. So if you if you don't like us, hell, you can still come watch. Uh, <laughs> so what is it like touring now with a big hit under your belt? Because this is something that well, man, you know, this is new. Doing. It's new to us, man. You know, it's crazy. You know, because we went from literally in a matter of months playing these bar rooms. Of course, we're still playing in bar rooms. That's my home. You know, that's where I grew up. Playing these shows where nobody really knows us, nobody knows our songs. To me calling out track three on the EP and them going, oh yeah, you know, it's, it's amazing the feeling you get, people, you know, because you work so hard, you work so hard, you know, as with anything, you see the outcome, it's like, wow, you know, it wasn't just wasting my time working, you know, people are accepting it, and that's what we want to do, man, we want to make the best music we can make with, you know, with what I grew up on, mixed with what's going on today, you know, we understand that Silver Wings by World Packer, unfortunately, sadly, but, you know, it's not going to work today. Uh, but, you know, we try to make the best music that we can, keeping those roots, and uh, I think we've done a pretty good job of that so far, and you know, we love hearing the feedback from everybody, so that's uh, it's always good to, to, to get them you know, outside. That's a long way from uh, Cashier to Piggly Wiggly to moving to Nashville, to move 13 Nashville. 14 years old, and breaking through at 20. Actually, man, I moved to Nashville at 19 when I was first. I didn't move until I signed. Now, of course, I, was, I had been going back and forth every other week. So, you know, every two or three weeks. Like, you know, I was so blessed to have these relationships with songwriters. And, uh, I would just crash on the couch or two, you know, and come up and write a couple of songs. And, you know, through that, I met my management. Through that, I met the, the label. And, and here we are. Mike Morgan is with us. What's been the oh wow moment so far? The oh wow moment. Everything is all fresh to you. It is, man. Everything still that we're doing is just so new. It's like, wow, wow, wow. You know, I'm just trying to. I'm trying to keep my feet on the ground, you know, not fly away. So but the oh wow moment every time I play the album, still the oh wow moment. Because I've always wanted to do it. I've dreamed about that moment. To me, that's country music. Grand Ole Opry, man. And I was so lucky enough to play the Grand Ole Opry and, and the Rhyme and Poe. We've been playing about the since September. And since I've been last year, it's just, it's so, they're so gracious, you know. 
they haven't they haven't made me a part of the quote unquote family yet, but every time I go there, it's, 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 well, from Mississippi to the Ground Opry stage, the Taste of Country Music Festival stage, stage number two. Look and on the air to with it. WRWD, would you like to introduce your song on the radio? I would love to. This is William Michael Morgan, and this is my very first single I've met. And on what station? WRWD 107. Wow, you're hired. <laughs> Thank you.